All right, so notice that when you go to PA Next, that um, uh, PA Next has what's called the dashboard now. So see right here, dashboard. So if you click on dashboard, let's kind of see what that looks like. Um, so click on it. And um, there's dashboard user settings and then dashboard. If you go to dashboard user settings, um, you can uh, rearrange your dashboard based on the number of columns. So if you want three columns, this is what it looks like. There's only four things listed right now. Um, when I called ACT, they indicated there may be a few other things added, but right now this is all you get. Um, I would just go ahead and leave it as two columns. And so, so you have session status, you have uh, student test status, you have uh, what's called test status online, and then you have test status paper. Um, this little cross hairs, you can rearrange them like this, um, however you want to. Um, so you can rearrange these as well. All right. So just know that you can rearrange the um, those uh, um, your dashboard, the the um, icons there. All right. So I'm gonna go back to dashboard, and uh, um, let's see. When I go to dashboard, click on dashboard right here, and this is what it looks like right now. So you have this kind of like half donut thing. I forgot what they call this. But this is the session status. So I want you to notice that when you when I hover over it, see where it says not prepared 14. Now I am using Terra High School. So Terra High School has 14 sessions and 14 are not prepared. So remember, you you prepare a session one to two days before the first test. All right. So 14 are not prepared. Notice, though, um, at some point, it will uh, say preparing. It will say errors not prepared. So probably with the errors, if you get an error, it means it could be that the uh, form type does not match the start date. So remember, we talked about that. The form type must match the start date. Then it will also indicate how many sessions are ready, and then how many sessions are in progress, and then how many sessions are stopped. Okay, so at some point, uh, this this light blue color will change depending on um, other uh, things that that happen during testing. So you have preparing, errors, how many sessions are ready, how many sessions are in progress, and how many sessions have stopped. Now there is a drop down up here, but all you see is all. And I asked if if um, if that will change at some point, and I was told that. This is all new to them, so they're not really sure. But we'll see what happens as you begin testing on March 8th. So that's the session status. Remember, the session status indicates how many sessions uh, were created. So if I go, for example, if I go to uh, testing and sessions, notice that Ms. Veal, if you count all of those, that's 14 sessions. All right, 14 sessions. All right, so I'm going to go back to dashboard. I'm going to go to dashboard here. All right, now let's talk about the student test status right here. So notice you have um, uh, you have ready, you have resumed, resumed upload, you have active, you have exited, and you have complete, mark complete. So the student test status, when I hover over it right now, uh, Ms. Veal has put 172 students in those sessions. So when I go back to sessions, and I add up all those students right here, that's going to be 172. So 172 students are in those online sessions. So I'm going to go back to dashboard and notice that that you see 172. All right. Now, during testing, that color is going to change. So it could be you, you could see an orange color. You could see active. Um, you could see how many students have exited. You could see how many students are marked complete or completed. All right, so all that is is um, changing. And um, I think it, it says right here, the data on this page will refresh every 30 minutes. So every 30 minutes, this information will change. So beginning March 8th, if you start testing on March 8th, um, 
all of this will change depending on how many students are being tested, how many sessions are, are in progress, and so on. All right, so we talked about session status. So session status is, indicates the number of sessions that, that you created. The student test status indicates how many students you put in those sessions. All right, now let's talk about test status online. So right here, so you have student test status and then you have test status online. Notice that it has 206 right here. See that? So notice you have assigned, in progress, and complete right here. Assigned, in progress, and complete, and that's all you're going to get. Notice though, right now it says 206. So you may ask, well, what does that 206 represent? Well, here's what that represents. So I'm going back to testing, and uh, I'm sorry, I'm going to go back to setup. Let me go to setup. I'm going to organizations, and I'm going to go to click on tear, and I'm going to go to all tasks. Now, when I go to all tasks, I'm going to go to edit enrollment counts. When I go to edit enrollment counts, I'm going to go to here, and notice that's 178, right? So I'm going to add 178. So right now, there are 178 students that are scheduled to take standard time testing, 178. So I'm going to add 178 to, and then I'm going to go down to accommodations. So under accommodations for online, Ms. Uh, Ms. Veal, has 28 students that are going to take the online test uh, for accommodations. So that's plus 28. 178 plus 28 is 206. 206. So I'm going to go back to dashboard, and this is the 206. So 206, remember, represents the how many students um, are scheduled to take the online test, both standard time and accommodations. But you may say, well, why doesn't this number 206 and this number 172 match? Well, remember, the 172 here are the number of students that Ms. Veal put into a testing session. But some of those students here are Leap Connect students, or some of those students could be students that that uh, dropped. And remember, um, you can no longer unenroll a student. So, so the difference between 206 and 172 is 34. So 34 of those students. Ms. Veal did not put into a test session, probably because some of those are Leap Connect and some of those are no longer at her school. Okay? All right. Now, hopefully you understand everything we've talked about so far. Now, notice they have something pretty interesting as well. They have what's called test status paper. Now, notice right here, it says 28, and notice all you're going to get is assigned or complete, because remember, for paper, um, you have to send that off for it to be scored. Once it's scored, it becomes complete, right? So, right now, there are 28, 28 students assigned to take the paper test. Once those, pa once those answer documents are scored, then it becomes this uh, red color. So it'll say, hopefully it'll say 28 are complete, right? Okay, but let's let's talk about where where that 28 comes from. All right, so remember, 28 students at Terra High School are going to be taking the paper test. So if I go back to uh, organizations and and I click on all tasks and I go to edit enrollment counts. Watch where that 28 comes from. I'm going to go to accommodations. You see right here under paper, there are 20 students that are taking the paper version of the test. So 20. But you may say, well, that's not 28, right? Oh, but watch. If you go to translated test instructions for English learners, there's the other eight paper. So 20 paper here plus eight paper here equals 28. 
let me go. Oops, kind of lost the place now. All right, row one. Um, let's see. All right, so equals, and let me go back up. I'm going to exit task and then dashboard, and that equals 28. All right, now I'm going to go. So, so hopefully you understand all of this now. Um, that for the dashboard, this is what you get. Hopefully, they'll add a few more things. But remember, you can always rearrange all of these tiles, all of these tiles by going to your user settings. I want to show you um, another school. So let's go to, let's say, um, EBR Virtual. So notice EBR Virtual, they have 10 sessions that are um, created, 10 sessions were created. There are 96 students that are put into those sessions, right? And then there are 110 students uh, 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 that that are supposed to be scheduled to take the test. But remember, some of those could be Leap Connect students. Some of those could be students that transferred out of the school, which you know we can no longer unenroll. But I want you to notice something. There's no tile here. Why do you think there's no tile here? Uh, Terra High School had a tile for a test status paper, but EBR Virtual does not. And that's because EBR Virtual is not doing any paper. All their students are taking uh, the test online, both accommodated students and standard time students. All right, so I want you to, to take a look at yours and, and um, when you start creating sessions, all these all this information will populate. So notice uh, EBR Virtual has 96 students that are that are put into sessions, and as testing occurs, all this this um, uh, color will change depending on the status at that time. Um, so to go ahead and check to see what yours looks like, and um, hopefully this will be very useful to you. Um, okay, so if you have any questions, just just let me know. And then it's going to ask.